Our first guest is a, uh, listen to this, five-time Emmy Award winner starring in a uh, brand new television series entitled Hank, and it premieres tomorrow night at 8 on another network. <laughs> Please welcome back Kelsey Grammer. Boy, you look, you look great, and it occurs to me, I don't think I've seen you in, uh, gosh, probably two years. Has it been two years? Here? Yeah. It, yeah. Something yeah. close. Good know. to have you with us. And I remember hearing in that period of time where there was uh, some concern, uh, some health uh, issue, but you look great now. I had a heart attack, yes, yes. <laughs> Is that and, right? And I feel good, yeah, yeah. Had an actual heart attack. It was an actual heart attack. Wouldn't you tell me about that? Was Because I think this is what a lot of people, and rightly so, fear. Yeah, well, we yeah. share a, a certain heart thing. We, yes, so, we yeah. have a, a bond a of heart the heart. bond. Yeah. Isn't that nice? <laughs> um, yeah, I, um, I started out one morning in Hawaii. We went for a long paddle. You know, you, you know that stand-up paddle stuff? You guys have seen that? Oh, on, on like a surfboard? On a surfboard, you're, you're paddling around. Mm -hmm. So we did that for a few hours, and then I, I, I picked up a big stone at the, the bottom of the ocean, about 20 feet deep, and walked around with that for a while. <laughs> why, why, were you, why were you doing that, exactly? Uh, apparently, that's not good for your heart. <laughs> no, it's not. Even if you're healthy, there's somebody, no point in doing that. Somebody pointed that out to me. <laughs> yeah, I see. I'm not allowed to go below, like, like 10 feet anymore, mm -hmm. but... Uh, <laughs> Um, and then uh, we, we got back from the paddle, and honestly, I, I sort of hit the beach. I didn't feel so good. And uh, In what sense didn't you feel uh, well? Well, I, I felt sort of sweaty. Sweaty? And, um, shortness, shortness of shortness breath? Shortness of breath. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I was uh, going to go up and have some breakfast, and then I felt faint. And then I was, I was lying down in this little sort of palapa there <laughs> in Hawaii. I mean, it's a serious situation, but, you know, <laughs> I mean, I'm a guy of humor, you know, so I'm... <laughs> Now, at the time, did it? Were you? You weren't amused by it at the time. No, right? clearly, I was yeah. actually just. <laughs> I, <laughs> I kept saying to myself uh, that I wanted to see my children, oh. and uh, that was the big thing, and that I had so much to make up to my wife for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just one of those things. <laughs> now wait a minute. Again, you're laughing no, at you like know, a... Well, you know, in those moments, these yeah. you know, these things come with a great clarity. Yeah. And uh, but those are the important things of life. Those, that's to what God. turns out to be important. Yeah. 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 So, so then what happened? You're not feeling well. well. So we all, we end up. They, my wife actually looked at me and said, <laughs> "I was just going like, ah, I was trying to breathe because uh, you know they teach us to breathe when we go to acting school. I don't know." <laughs> and, <laughs> So, so wait a minute. Uh, so, so your wife rushes going, you to acting school, uh, <laughs> and she finally leans over. This is about forty-five minutes into it, and she says, "Are you having chest pains?" Mm -hmm. Now, at that time, actually, it felt like an elephant had taken two feet or whatever those things are and torn my chest in half. So uh, I said, "Yes." Yeah. So these, you had all the classic the symptoms, classic really, symptoms. the pressure on the chest. So she shouted, she shouted and said, he's having a heart attack. They called for the emergency guys. They got there about an hour later. And Are you kidding <laughs> no, me? It takes a while in Hawaii. Uh, just a travel tip. Uh, anyway, <laughs> just a, for those of you mind. with heart conditions. Oh, man. <laughs> But I, so I go to the hospital, and when we get to the hospital, they look at me and say, you're having, you have a blood clot. Something's happened to you, one of your, you're descending something is, is clogged, and you're just showing signs of that. And mm -hmm. they said, uh, we can give you this shot. They call it the clot buster. I said, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, they said, there are side effects. Mm -hmm. So well, what are those? Death. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What, so, what, what do you do for heaven's sake? I said, give me the shot. Really? <laughs> so, really? <laughs> and right after, apparently, my... No, 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 let me, oh, sorry, is, is it a small percentage, or is it like 50-50? What are we talking about? Um, I, I think, actually, most of the time, they bring people back from the clot buster, uh -huh. honestly. Yeah. But my own percentage is what, what I had. Uh, apparently, 15% of the people survived that. So you were in a minority of survival. As I was. Oh, my a lucky God. boy. And yeah. just as they gave me the shot, I, I said to my little angels, I said, okay, look, I, uh, I don't want to see any light. <laughs> I don't want to see anything beautiful or cool. I'm not, yeah. I'm not prepared. I'm not interested. Yep. Just keep it, you know, keep it really uninteresting and let me get through this. And my wife tells me that right at that moment as they jabbed me with the, the thing, the heart stops, I code, and then uh, just before that, she said, I, I, I looked over and I said, I'm going now. <laughs> wow, this is so, creepy. This is very creepy. creepy. But, um, 
But the, but the, the heart buster drug actually is used in that situation to save lives at the at the moment of the heart attack or as close to it as possible, Clearly. right? Yeah. 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 And, and and so your heart actually does stop. I guess that's one of the side effects as well. They stop yeah. the heart. And and then it's, they it's, restart it immediately. And then they try to you know pop it again and get right. it going. And you came right back. A little reset. I yeah. came back on the second one. Apparently. Yeah. So so now the risk has been minimized significantly. That the well uh, things are pretty good. I ended up getting a stent by this real uh, talented doctor in Oahu. They flew me to Oahu later. Now if you have a heart attack in Oahu, actually things are pretty good there. Mm -hmm. So, there's this doctor named Lee Gertler. He's a real hot, I, I can't say that other word, but he's really, really talented. What do you mean, really hot, hot? You know, uh, a, a, a hot um, um, excrement. I mean, and honestly, isn't that all what we're looking we're for? We're looking for. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we're all looking for that. This is fascinating uh, to me and I, I think to other people because uh, heart disease is still, I believe, the number one killer in, yeah. in the world yeah. uh, as far as disease and ailments. Uh, okay, so uh, they, they put in a stent, which put is it, one of those deals where they uh, open up the, the artery. Yeah, they, they go up the artery and then and, uh, actually when I got in, in, when I did the first exploratory thing, it went up through the leg and then... Uh, said, well, you know, you don't have a lot of uh, uh, buildup or anything plaque. in your arteries, so yeah. a lot of plaques. So, so uh, in fact, we wouldn't have done anything except that you had this, this event. And he said, I, I'm going to put a stent in, and, or I should put a stent in. He said, 50-50, you'll be okay if we don't put one in. And he mm -hmm. said, but if you, if you put one in, it's 100% that you won't have this problem again. You can't argue with I that. I said, so 100% sounds a lot better than 50-50. Yeah, right. So <laughs> go ahead, Dr. Gertler, put that in there. Yeah. You hot excrement, you. <laughs> <laughs> is this a oh. term of endearment? Or now it is. Say, yeah, sure. Okay. I'm going to call my kids tonight and <laughs> yeah. set them to bed with you little excrements, you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now the stent takes care of everything? Stent seems to take care of everything now, diet and stuff like that. But yeah. then, then I had another little episode uh, the following summer when I was in the Hamptons. And... Uh, I had to go back in for observation, and it turns out that I, when I sleep, I have a very low heart rate. Mm -hmm. So they did some testing, and uh, the, they, they took me into this electrocardio guy, and uh, they did a little test where they, where they shock your heart and try to induce uh, infarction or whatever, uh, and uh, uh, they put the little pads on me, you know, to do the shocking yeah. thing, and, and I, I said, excuse me, excuse me, why are these on me? Mm -hmm. What, what's going on? I said, well, we're going to stop your heart, and then that's how we'll start it again. So, ho, 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 ho. Yeah. <laughs> May I please speak with the doctor? Yeah. Because uh, I didn't expect to be stopping the heart anymore. I thought that was right. kind of over right. with. And then he explained to me that that's how they do it all the time. So they did, they did that, and they, they, they put... Stop the heart again. They put I it mean, in. I mean, your heart has started and stopped, stopped more than a cross-town bus, yeah, for exactly. God's sake. <laughs> Crazy. So then... <laughs> He, uh, they, they told me that they found that I was easily induced, and so they said it's uh, recommended that you get um, a pacemaker. Oh, a pacemaker. So they, and it paces me at 50, uh, 50 beats per minute. And, now, uh, are these two problems of the heart uh, unrelated, or did one cause another, you know, or are they really just know. coincidental? don't really know. They may just be coincidental. Yeah. Wow. But uh, wow. now I've got my little box, and it's, uh -huh. it's, a, it's a wonder of science. What, what does the uh, uh, pacemaker do, exactly? Well, it, uh, it will shock me if my heart does something strange. And it will also. Is this it? Is this what we're talking about? Will also pace me, and mm. it's the eye pace maker. The eye They're pace doing all maker. kinds wow. of amazing things. <laughs> with these now. Well, do you mind if we listen to your heart? No, Ooh, I'd love to. And it's the pacemaker is working right now, or is absolutely not? right, right now. Can and you get it? You right? know, I'm a musical buff, so. Wow, that's remarkable. That's fantastic. And now I, I want to I want to tell you something here. After that story, uh, it's it's harrowing, uh, but it's also uh, they, they can do so much in this area now in terms of uh, heart and arteries that the people listening to this should be encouraged and and certainly encouraged by seeing you. But take a look at this picture. You think this guy isn't tough and ready to go and can handle this? Look at him, right right there he is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Nice going. <laughs> well, we didn't really talk about anything else, so I will mention that the show, Hank. Oh, yes. Hank. 
uh, premieres tomorrow. If he lives long enough... <laughs> Uh, it'll be tomorrow night at uh, 8 p.m. Uh, over there on ABC. Yeah, no, no, would yeah, would no, it kill no, you to come and be on this network? I'd love to be. Les yeah, and I I'd talk like, about okay, it all the time. Okay, we'll see if you can make that <laughs> happen or we'll stop your heart again. Uh, <laughs> I, I couldn't be happier for you. Thanks, Congratulations. Dad. Give my best to your Good family. To you. I shall. Kelsey Grammer, ladies and gentlemen.